गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ वृशाली अहिरे वेलकम यू ऑल इन सोशल साइंस इंटरेक्शन ऑफ क्लास एट ड्यू टू पैंडमिक एपिडेमिक वी आर ऑल स्टेइंग एट होम आई नो यू आर मिसिंग अ लॉट यूर स्कूल डेज विथ टीचर्स ऑल्सो मिसिंग यू अ लॉट सो दिस इज अ स्मॉल एफर्ट टू इंटरेक्ट विथ यू students i know you are listening reading news how to prevent against covid-19 but also two things can keep you healthy first one is drink water as much as you can second do pranayama regularly you can do dirghashwasan anulom vilom कपाल भाती एक्सेट्रा सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट अ इंटरेक्शन सेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू अबाउट हिस्ट्री अ फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट इज हिस्ट्री सो यू विल थिंक अबाउट दैट ओ वट इज हिस्ट्री what we are going to learn what we are going to study in history and actually what is there so history is a mystery to be solved finding out about history is a lot of like trying to solve a mystery you must look for clues you must interpret those clues you must bring all the clues together to shed light on each other you must reinterpret each clue every time you find a new clue or you must then try fill in the gaps and come to an educated conclusion so what is history so all that things can be included in that who what when where why how all questions are in your mind i know very well that's why i'm going to interact with you we will communicate friendly with each other so because of that you will come to know a small small things in this subject so what is history so history is nothing but it is a about changes that occur over time findings how things were in the past and how things have changed a branch of knowledge that records and explains past events definitely we can say that history is a past event which can explain all the past events the study of a record of that past events considered together especially events of a particular period country or subject so um, why do we study history only yes through the study of history we can know about our culture cultural values intellectual development in that it can be including religion food patterns fashion common practices and also education and yes to know more about the roots of a current culture why is this important to learn about human nature in general by looking or uh, trends that repeat through history and and what things can be important to learn historical fact to learn about how different factors shape society that is religion creed to intersection of different cultures technologies so in this way we can study history 
more effectively. And to know more about history or importance of history or we can say how to study or why to study history. History will give you a combination of skills and insight that will help you to prepare you for work, enable you to participate fully in society. Why? Because we are part of society. Develop you as a person, as a good person, as a capable person. And also history also help us to understand many of the issues that affect the world today. Why this particular thing happening? Maybe that causes are in the history. By broadening your knowledge of current affairs, you are developing yourself personally and preparing yourself more fully for adult and working life. Can you think of any issue that affect the world that have their roots in history? Yes, it may be as we have discussed earlier. And one more thing is history, who we are and why we are, the way we are. That thing history can tell only. History, despite its breaching pen, cannot be unlived. But if faced with courage, it need not to be lived again. So, these factors can include in the study of history. The next subject is geography in social science. Why we should learn geography? We can say that to learn and understand how the world's basic physical system work and affect our everyday life. For example, the role of sun plays in the providing heat and life on the earth and how wind and ocean currents affect the weather. This is not only help us to better predict and prepare for severe weather, but also how we can use the earth's resources for our benefit. Actually, that is not a good thing. Though it is given from nature, but we have to take care of that. To learn about other cultures, where they live and how their location and climate affects their lifestyle. This can help us understand their differences and uh, as well as the similarities we all share. And also to learn more about the geography of different era and the role it played in people's lives, in moments and ideas. To learn all the differences within, the, within that places on the earth as well as their culture and physical characteristics in order to be more productive and effective in a world that has become interdependent. Considering how global our market economics have begun, it's important to know more about countries and their locations to better understand the effect they have on the market. And one more thing, why to study geography? To have a better understanding of society and why we live in the places we do. Why we are living in that particular location? Why we are not living at the another location? Why we are not living um, near um, islands or etc. How has urbanization changed the world and its society? Why did certain areas flourish while others didn't? 
geography help us to understand why certain locations are ideal for living and why others are not uh, i would like to tell students what happen sometimes when most people hear the term geography they immediately begin to think of maps but it is not so much more than that not only to study map it is a geography but it is more than that for example to understand why studying geography is relevant you must first understand what it means geography is the study of places landscapes environments and people and how they have affected each other over the time to become what it is today it combines natural science and social science in a way no other field of science does so to study about geography we should know all the elements regarding environment why we are living such a way so let's move towards next slide yes why we should know about politics or political science actually the word political science is taken politics from polis means city or sovereign state and science from sar means to know or to do study so political science is the study of state and government it is the understanding of the state that is principles and deals underlying its organization and activities it is the study of a body politic the association of people into a political community it studies the relations of men and groups men and group of the state and state to other states so it is most important to know about politics so basically political science is a social science discipline concerned with the study of state government and politics aristotle who was the great philosopher in the period of ancient greece so aristotle said that and he defined it is a it is as the study of the state means politic is nothing but to study of state it deals extensively with the theory and practice of politics and the analysis of political system and political behavior so in this way students history geography and politics that three subjects we are going to discuss learn in the social science subject next slide yes so these are our books our past part third which is history resources and development geography and politics social and political life here these three books we are going to refer for history there are part 1 and part 2 so 
in the history, in the geography, in the politics, which terms we are going to learn. Let's have a quick look. So in the history, how, when and where. And introduction of history. How that history is dealing with different type of happenings. So, first of all, um, how, when and where means how people establish himself, how he invented different ideas, how he invented different things that we are going to learn. And introduction to history. History is the study of past events as we discussed earlier and it is much more than memorizing dates yes definitely i would like to say because uh, lots of time people thought that uh, history oh history is nothing but memorizing the dates but it is not like that in the lesson we will learn how did it happen when did it happen and where did it happen means the meaning of history then regarding events, places, dates, different type of names and learning facts. So, there will be term of minorities and marginalization. So, regarding minorities, student, I would like to tell and marginalization means what those who were the marginalized people means those who were the away from their city away from their area particular area those who were not living in that group of people that group of people can called marginalized people the government makes the law to protect the citizens there are specific laws and policies for the marginalized in our country. There are policies that emerge through other means like setting up a committee or by uh, undertaking a survey. Government then makes an effort to promote such policy in order to give opportunity to specific group. And a minority. This term is used to refer to communities that are numerically small in relation to the rest of the population means which is rest of the population and which is the population of that particular group which is less than that population the safeguards are needed to protect minority communities against the possibilities of being culturally dominated by the majority majority people So, so these can be we can say minorities and the marginalized people. So, we will move towards geography. So, in the geography, again we are going to learn about different type of soil, different type of landforms, different type of farming system so regarding farming there will be few activities few uh, uh, like primary activities secondary activities and tertiary activities so within that activities that agro base industries can be included so the landforms and different type of farming system like terrace farming, counter barrios, then counter plugging, rock dams, shelter belts and in the next slide you can see different type of layers of soil. So these content we are going to learn. Next slide. Then regarding resources. 
everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs provided it is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable can be termed as resource so we can say useful things that come from the nature that will be the natural resource yes and something useful for humans need to survive that can be also natural resources and in that also we are going to learn few elements and few kinds of resources then also a point we are going to discuss that will be the industries different type of industries so as we say as we discuss earlier that industry will be correlated with the farming so in the secondary activities or manufacturing change raw material into products of more value to people so that will be correlated with the farming and industries and also industries refer to an economic activity because that is concerned with the production goods extraction of minerals or the provision of services uh, and industries may be agro agro based mineral marine and forest based depending on the type of raw material they use and industries can be classified to private sector state owned or the public sector and joint sector and cooperative sector as well so in the public sector industries are owned and uh, operated with government means which can be handled by government such as uh, we can say hindustan aeronautics limited uh, steel authority of india limited etc in the agro based industries we use plant and animal based products as their raw material food processing well then vegetable oil textile cotton textile that textile industries dairy products and leather industries um, this these can be the examples of agro based industries Uh, one more there is that is mineral base industry so all that types we are going to learn in the geography so next now we have seen earlier why we have to study politics so there are few few reasons why we should learn politics as a part of society we should do something for our country and india is the largest democratic country we have lots of rights but actually we are unaware about that we don't know why laws are there why rights are there why we don't know about that what is the use of that all that things why constitution is established so in short i'm going to tell you about few things so constitution in a simple way students uh, you know game yes so uh, how in game few rules are there yes almost everything we do uh, governed by some rules set of rules so uh, there are rules for game and for social club and for adults in the workplace there are also rules to impose by morality and custom that play an important role in telling use what we should and we should not do Yes, within that game, because of that rules, we know that yes, we have to do that. We have to follow that strategies. We are not supposed to follow 
these particular strategies for example in the game uh, or, or suppose referee will be there uh, has full authority to enforce the rule of law of the game on the player that particular players when a player do something against the rules referee take action like send off a player as shown uh, in that particular rule list so some rules that are made by the legislature legislature is also known as houses of our india parliament house so it can be lok sabha rajya sabha for their own country are called law in detail we are going to learn in chapter but as a introductory i am telling you we need laws in society so our society can regulate and work properly they are designed to protect us and our property and to ensure that everyone in society behaves the way that the community expects them to so law tells us what to expect as a consequences of our actions law has been the glue that has kept society together okay so what is the role of glue to stick two things so that role here law is playing of glue to stick society to the law society to the country without laws there would be complete anarchy so it can be impossible without living law so there are two houses of parliament it can be consist rajya sabha and lok sabha in detail we are going to learn in chapter so that all will be the related our academic syllabus so now students how you are going to be evaluated which things you have to keep in it mind so in the 7th standard already you know very well just uh, to remind you i am telling you how you are going to be evaluated how the marks will be evaluated so the first one will be whatever your completion will be there your notebook completion will be there class work will be there uh, observation of teacher your class participation after evening class or school that will be evaluation of criteria will be for the five marks and your regularity also and what your files will be there your presentations will be there your projects will be there so for that five marks will be allotted whatever questions question paper will be there suppose we are going to send you some mcqs we are going to send any activities you have to do it properly then there are cognition levels means with the help of some outcomings learning outcomes you are going to evaluate that will be the knowledge understanding and application or your skills interest that will be in a percentage form you can see in the slide so it we it may have mcqs and few sections according to that marks will be evaluated now subject wise weightage of marks subject wise means history geography and politics so uh, this table is for the periodic test so mcqs knowledge understanding application skills according to that marks of each question will be there for history politics and geography for mcqs 1 1 and for question type will be history geography 2 and politics 1 then knowledge base that will be 1 and 1/2 1 and 1/2 and, and, and number of questions will be there 4 4 4 
understanding based questions will be there regarding textual knowledge that will be uh, two for history politics one and geography two and number of questions will be two one two so according to that you are going to be your exams exam pattern will be like that then application one 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 and questions will be two 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 accordingly and skill base that will be application based questions that may be uh, how you are going to perform according to self study one 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 and for history geography two number of questions and politics one and the same pattern will be there for the term exam as well there will be same columns for mcqs knowledge understanding application skill according to subject wise so number of questions will be there for mcqs according to history geography 6 six questions and politics four questions for mcqs and if you want to be perfect in social science subjects you should read whole lesson then you are going to um, focus on mcqs questions and you are going to solve mcqs now yes the most important thing now you you will think that yes now it is the time now we are going to start our learning we are going to start our study so how we can study social science so few things few stages i would like to tell you how you can take notes while session now the uh, while session also you can take notes you can all good study techniques start with good notes taking habits knowing how to take good notes will improve your ability to study more effectively definitely students you can take notes in between so there are three stages of good note taking first one is get ready to take notes before class only means before class start you are you, you are supposed to ready with your notebook review your notes from previous lessons complete all assignments and reading before class bring all needed material to take notes then stage 2 taking notes during class keep your focus on the teacher listen for signal statements like most importantly remember that be sure to include so when teacher use that words teacher emphasize on particular statement that time you are supposed to be alert write quickly you are supposed to improve your writing speed importantly you can use abbreviations short forms you can use that you can learn by your own that will be understandable for you only place a question by things you are not sure about so while lecture you can ask that question to the teacher and stage 3 rewrite your notes importantly most important after class rewrite your notes what teacher taught what you learned from that content you can write it change abbreviations to complete words so when you are taking notes that time you can expand that abbreviations change symbol into words change shorter sentences to more complete sentences answer any question you had in your notes try to answer in your own words to that particular question so few habits we have and few habits 
we are supposed to acquire that i'm going to tell you that will definitely um, improve your writing skill your study skill your learning skill all okay first try not to do too much studying at one time if one subject you are doing yes at least one hour do that study only not in between you are supposed to take another yes if you are doing social science don't take any other subject complete whatever content you are learning complete that only means your concentration will be on that particular subject plan scientific time space sorry specific times for study means you can maintain your timetable as well try to study at the same times each day set specific goal for your study time yes if suppose one chapter there is in the geography yes now today i'm going to complete that chapter today i'm going to read that chapter definitely so complete that planned work work on the assignments or materials that are the most difficult first which you know very well which you understand very well for some time keep that particular content aside and which you are facing problem in that content take that difficulty first so it can be possible that you are able to solve that difficult content easily review notes before beginning at the assignment eliminate distractions during study time call another student for assistance when needed you can take your friend's help review school work over the weekends at the weekend you can review all the subjects work you can review all the activities you can maintain your diary in that diary also you can maintain particular diary for particular subject you can maintain over there so it will very easy to study each and every subject and yes definitely i would like to tell you for social science use of flow charts use of diagrams that will be more more beneficial to you that is the most important thing through the flow charts you can write your answer point wise answer should be there if you have written point wise so no need to read that particular content if you know very well that particular point you are able to solve any type of question any maybe that question will be twisted maybe that question will be another question but it will be if suppose related to that particular textbook question you are able to solve that answer so students i hope you understand all the terms which we are going to learn which we are going to uh, discuss throughout the year then paper pattern then how to study how you can take notes how you can study social science subject and through which habits you are able to learn you are able to concentrate on your subject hope you enjoyed the session hope you understood the session in the next session we are going to take a revision which you learned already in the month of april till that bye and thank you once again